Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. We appreciate you each week tuning in. Hope you'll share it with a friend uh, who may benefit, encourage them in their life as well. I wanna this week talk to you about vision because vision is so important in our Christian walk that we have a vision of what God wants to do in our life and how he wants to use us ultimately in his kingdom. Uh, Proverbs 29, 18 says, where there is no vision, people perish. Vision is used a lot, that word. You, companies have vision statements, institutions have vision statements, but what, what really is a vision? Well, I always say that a vision is a clear mental image of a preferred future. It's what we're shooting for. It's what we desire to be. It's what we feel in our lives that God wants us to be. Now, for a Christian, our vision often is shaped by what we already know from God's Word. In other words, we know that God wants us to live lives that are pure before Him, that God wants us to be useful in His kingdom. We know those things are a given, a certainty, because God's Word tells us that. But God also, in our individual lives, I believe, gives us a preferred future of what He wants to use us to be, what He wants us to experience in life, how He wants to put us to work. I think about the children of Israel, if you remember the story where they are going to be send, sending out 12 spies into the new land, into the promised land, to see what it's like. They come back and they all 12 agree on this. It is everything that God said it was, and even more. They bring back some of what they experienced there, what they saw there, and it is an incredible promise. God had said to them, I'm gonna give this to you. That's my preferred future for you. But do you remember the rest of the story? Do you remember they agreed that it was everything God said it was, but then there was a, a division in the group. There were 10 who were very negative and said, you know what, it is great. It is God's gift to us, no doubt, but there's nothing we can do to get it. It's too big, it's too overwhelming. Let me tell you something, there are always going to be people in your life uh, that wanna throw cold water on the vision that God gives you of what you want to do and what He wants you to do in your life. That's why I'll give you this little side warning. Be careful who you share your vision with. Be careful who you tell what you think God wants you to do in your life. Tell people that also are spiritually thinking about what God's doing in their life. Because there are many people that just don't have a vision and they can't see the vision. But if you know the rest of the story, there were two, Joshua and Caleb, who believed God, who saw the vision. And it's interesting that Caleb says to the, to the people of Israel, he said, we must do this. And he said, we will certainly do it. We will certainly do it. In other words, his words were, this vision can be done because God is going to strengthen us and God is going to empower us. I hope maybe this week you'll give some thought and prayer. God, what is your vision for my life? What do you wanna do in my life? Because when you do, you won't perish in fact, I think you'll be fully alive in your relationship and your walk with Christ. The power of a vision. Do you have a vision of what God wants to do in you? May God bless you. Have a great week.